Welcome back to another fantastic viewer questions video. And today's video is from Bill Stiles. Now, Bill, Linda has also dropped us some feedback to say great videos, love them, please keep them up. So thank you very much, Bill, for that feedback. And what a great question you've asked, Bill. Now, Linda, politically uh, topical this one, mm -hmm. especially given that we recorded a video up here with Michael Gove, the NIMBY in charge of planning. And we recorded another video up here with Boris Johnson doing a, shall we describe it as a U-turn on the planning proposals that Robert Jenrick was driving through? Possibly, yes. Possibly. And Bill's question today is, do you think, Linda, that Michael Gove, now he is the new housing minister, and I think we need to correct the title there, and I'll let you do that, Linda. Oh, God, uh, no. <laughs> well, it, it's Monsieur Duluc, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as we refer to him, uh, that the planning rules will change again. So if you've not already watched the two videos that are up here, we suggest you do so and then carry on watching this video where Linda will tell us if the planning rules will change again. Linda, what is your thoughts? Mystic Meg. Yes, well, it's like, just a moment, I'll just look into my crystal ball and see what is coming in the future for planning. D to be honest, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> I, right, OK, I'll, I'll say that, but then I will explain it. I haven't a clue. Who, who knows what might be coming up in the future? I think, uh, and unfortunately, Michael Gove now is getting all the stick for this, but if we talk about the the overarching planning system, the you know, and that's a very it used to be a buzzword. I'm not sure it is anymore. But over and the overarching the planning system. Um, um, and if you talk about the planning bill that came out last year, 2020, uh, under Rob Robert Jenrick when he was the housing minister. And it's now the department, or um, I, I quite liked the ministry, it was very Harry Potter, but it's the department of levelling up, <sighs> department of levelling up housing and communities. I think it's that way round. But you yeah. just think, oh, please. And if you follow me on social media, I've, I did a little post on that. I, I have no idea what this means. Um, and we did talk about it briefly in one of our videos. So there's, there's the overarching system, which is the planning bill that came out last autumn, last year, 2020, when Robert Jenrick was in post. Uh, and it was the counts, uh, central government's idea of um, zoning. Uh, and, and making planning a zoning system whereby arguably you'd get rubber stamped. If you were in the development zone, you'd get almost rubber stamped. Obviously, this has created, some people have ripped it to shreds, created a lot of dissent, um, especially from uh, locals in, in the greener and leafier parts uh, of the country who simply do not want this. So that's the overarching, the, the overall system. Now, if we're talking about the, I was, I was going to call them minor tweaks, but they're not minor tweaks. They're, some of them are quite fundamental. Um, prior, the prior approval procedure, whereby the general permitted development order and lots of other statutory instruments have uh, resulted in changes such as demolition and rebuild, addition of a couple of uh, stories, commercial and changes of use of building. Some of these classes have replaced old classes that have now gone. Some of them have created brand new classes whereby you can change, especially commercial types of properties into residential in order to get more residential units on the ground. This is the, the whole, the fundamental ethos behind all of this. So for what it's worth, my opinion is that 
these tweaks that have been made to the general permitted development order and other um, uh, regulations. I don't think they are going to change. They could be added to, but I don't think there's going to be a retrograde step on any of those. I think they will stay as they are. With regard to the overarching, how the whole planning system works, I think, to be perfectly honest, the whole thing has been thrown up into the air and uh, nobody knows at this point in time how this is going to land, where all the various bits of the planning system are going to land, how they are all going to be brought together. But certainly, I think it looks like uh, people have talked about watering down the planning system. It looks like that entire planning bill will be completely rethought and I fully expect that there will be a new planning bill that has an awful lot of changes in there that do not really resemble um, the previous proposals. Uh, I think there's going to be a major rethink in this. Well, Linda, I mean, I agree with you. I don't think there's going to be changes to the GDPO personally. I also think um, because of, shall we say, the voters who the electorate, the MPs, Mr. Jenrick, Mr. Johnson, are fearful of not voting them back in, that the levelling up is all about uh, taking jobs and money up north, but also about them um, not introducing house building in uh, leafy green suburbs that have uh, conservative donors in, shall we say. So I think it's a great question, Bill, from you. And thank you so much. Please keep the questions coming. Keep posting what is um, on your mind. And Linda and I will answer those questions in a future video. We also love your feedback and comments. Please keep that coming. Don't forget, smash that like, subscribe and share button too. Linda, thank you once again for an amazing uh, Mystic Meg update on what is the planning system and the future of it. You're welcome. I dread to think what, what CGI you're going to put on this video, but I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> me too. Me too. So it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from me. Thank you for listening and watching and we'll see you on the next one.